What's up everybody? Um, we are on or just had week two of the WPLL season. Um, the inaugural season has officially begun and so much has happened. So I'm going to give you guys a quick recap um, and give you some stuff to look forward to going into week three. Week one, which was last weekend, started on my birthday. Um, the New York Fight, which is my team, played uh, New England Command at Good Council School in Olney, Maryland. Um, New York Fight didn't have a lot of people. We had 12 field players and two goalies um, and put up a hell of a fight. But in the end, um, New England Command came out on top. Um, they had a ton of plays. Karamupo played really well. Um, and they just, they put a couple more goals in the net than we did. Um, but it was so nice to get back on the field, especially with a lot of my Terps and other teammates from different teams I've been on, um, meeting new faces as well. It was so fun to compete again. It was pretty much the first meaningful game I've played in in a year, which is crazy to think about. Um, but it was fun. So, and anyway, so New England Command came out with a win. We came out with a loss. So we were, were sitting at 0-1 because we had a bye weekend. Um, while they are sitting at 1-0. In the other game, um, it was uh, Philly Fire versus Baltimore Brave. They actually played at Navy Stadium before the Bayhawks game, which is really cool. Um, we're partnering with MLL for a few of our games, um, really bringing together men's and women's lacrosse and hopefully bringing our, our sport to a bigger stage overall. Um, Baltimore Brave came out on top. They came out firing all cylinders. Um, I know players like Brooke Griffin had great games. Alyssa Leonard dominated the draw for Baltimore as well. Um, and they put together a really complete performance in front of their home crowd. Um, Philly Fire put up a heck of a performance as well, um, missing some key players like Katie Schwarzman, who's now Haas, um, and others for their first weekend, but um, they still put up a good fight. They were sitting at 0-1 after the first weekend while Baltimore Brave was sitting at 1-0. And then this weekend, um, New York Fight had a bye. Thankfully, I'm a little sick, um, so I have some time to rest, and so did some of my teammates who got a lot hard game last weekend. Um, but we had Philly Fire playing against Upstate Pride, so Upstate had their first game. Um, Katie Schwarzman was back for the, the Fire. Alex Oss made her appearance for the Pride. Um, Pride ended up coming out on top by a few goals. Started out with a heavy lead early, and then Philly Fire sort of came chipping away at the end. Um, now Philly sitting at 0-2, Upstate's at 1-0, and, um, and they have a whole slate of games coming forward. And then in the other game, it was New England Command versus Baltimore Brave. Baltimore Brave continu continued their dominance of the league so far. Um, Alyssa Leonard had eight goals, which is crazy to think about. I'm super happy for her. She's an amazing player, an amazing draw specialist. Um, but she's also an incredible attacker and clearly she's putting on a show and um, putting in all the hard work that needs to happen. So super happy for her and her team. Um, Marie McCool made her first appearance in the WPLL since graduating from UNC. She played alongside Dana Doby. They had a cute Instagram um, post where they were frenemies this summer, Canada versus Team USA, and now they get to play together, which is a really special opportunity. Um, so at the end of this weekend, Baltimore Brave is 2-0, uh, Upstate Pride is 1-0, New England Command is 1-1, New York Fight is 0-1, and, and Philly Fire is 0-2. That's kind of your roundup uh, for the first two weeks, and we have so much ahead. So the way our, our league works, each team will play each team once, so for instance, uh, Baltimore Brave only has two more regular season games while we have, as the New York Fight, have three. In the end, the top four teams will meet um, for the semifinals in Westchester, PA on July 12th and ultimately the finals um, July 14th at U.S. Lacrosse headquarters. Um, you can check us out the fight before the Lizards game on June 30th. Um, I don't know the other people's schedules, but we have another game June 23rd and we sort of play back to back to back. Um, but I'm super excited to get the chance to compete and play, um, playing with and against people that you've been pitted against all your career has been really exciting. Um, it's a huge opportunity to grow the sport, to grow our game, and to have fun and to give girls a chance to dream. Um, I never would have thought 
when I picked up a stick 20 years ago that I would be able to say I was a professional athlete. And to do that um, is really cool. So hopefully we are inspiring little girls to do the same thing, to keep playing, to keep trying, to keep dreaming. Um, and hopefully they will be the ones in these uniforms someday and we'll be in the stands cheering them on. So with that, that's a wrap up of week two of the WPLL. Make sure you go to prowomenslax.com to check out our schedules. I don't have mine memorized. I just show up where I'm needed. Uh, but I, we'd love to see you guys out at the game. And make sure you go, go get some Under Armour gear, support your teams, because um, we'd love to see you in the stands. Bye. One more thing. The winner of the signed uh, highlight cleats is Jenna Newman. So make sure you DM me at one of my Instagrams with your address and I'll get those shipped out to you sometime this week. Congratulations. Keep watching for more giveaways and make sure you guys support Pro Women's Lacrosse. Um, it really is the future of our sport. So, bye guys.